at Mimi's Glam, your beauty is guaranteed. We offer hair and makeup services for all ceremonies. We can also find you at your location. Contact us on... Na Uganda wede mwesubi orwebi zibu kubura mubo. Tumidu waba nacha ebo kukuju kizanti. Obura mbobu sobora burunjo kuda mnebwe ya garange chijori echisi matu soruka. Guwa mchara aruma monseke mbisera biensonga. E yali azade kona ingo chare mereduo kuza kumwana. Ngabu ogende mugoruzo sangaru wakarira. Apeta itio ya kobo ya gara kuoza kwa monseke. Aba nacha ebo bakutege zanti. Baline dagara liechi na seri soboro kukuyamba abami na mwe baba korako kabio banga manyi gamu nyoto baku nyoma msaizo banga apetaitia kwenyora balina yo neche nja uro ili haba baline mimweja gubobe jadugara nga nabaline mviriza nacho baku korela spremu dagari ganda baku bile kunamba zora bao nange neo nyokwe tengeza nga olezo mkazije ya nobira Welcome to this new episode on our channel SK Media. It's been a long time since we last sat in this kind of manner and hosted somebody different, somebody special, somebody talented uh, with a, a different gift that no one else has. Uh, but you know, usually I bring such people, the Matayos, uh, you remember Angel Chirunda, and, and many more that I'm yet to bring. So today the, the, the program is going to be running in two languages, Luganda and English. And today I believe everyone will be able to understand whatever I will be saying. No need for translation, no need for transcribing. Um, I have somebody here who I've uh, never hosted before, but he's going to introduce himself. And then you're going to, to, to listen to a different and unique story of his. You're welcome, sir. Thank you, Kawesa. Uh, I greet you all our viewers. Um, I'm called Alpha, Alpha Minyantwari, uh, from Eagles Wings Prophetic Ministries. We are based in Nakulavi. Yes. So, um, I've heard many stories about you. But uh, first of all, people would love to know, what is your profile? Who are you? Uh, uh, I, 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 I was called by God uh, uh, in uh, 1996 uh, when I gave my life to Jesus Christ. That's the very year that I was called. And uh, I was called in, uh, uh, in, 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 uh, to operate in the gift of prophecy. And that's what... Uh, has been happening in my life uh, ever since that year uh, in the church. Where, where are you born special? Um, I was told by my mom, she's late, uh, but uh, at a certain age stage, uh, she opened up to me that uh, when I was a baby, uh, I think uh, she said after like two weeks or one week, uh, there were some uh, writings uh, that uh, they discovered on my um, right, 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 right arm, and, uh, but they could not understand uh, the meaning of the writings. Which language were they? Uh, they, they? They thought it was Arabic, that's what they thought, because, <laughs> because they, 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 they even went ahead to bring some... Uh, uh, Experts in the uh, language. Those who are in, in spiritual matters, mm. the, 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 the witches, <laughs> the, uh, but also they failed to understand uh, what was uh, the meaning of the written, uh, uh, the written season on my, 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 my arm. So what happened, they even tried to, to use force uh, to, uh, to rub, them to rub off. it off, but they could not. <laughs> so they started disappearing okay. uh, uh, step by step until... You have nothing now? No, nothing. nothing. So how, how do you realize that you, you are indeed special? Um, I get to realize uh, when I gave my life to Jesus in 1996. Okay. That's when I realized. And, and, uh, I was left by my pastor, uh, the, the very pastor who, who led me to salvation, the confession. Mm. In 1996, that pastor is still alive today. He's called uh, Pastor Godfrey Kasaija. Okay. Uh, so what I remember is that in 1996, I was uh, formed to uh, Kitante uh, Hill School, the mm. secondary one. Mm. Uh, so uh, two weeks uh, after my uh, uh, com, uh, 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 giving my life to Jesus, mm. uh, I got uh, 
I can now call it a trance because by then I thought it was just a dream. Okay. But as I grew up, I understood now the difference. Mm. But I remember I woke up to pray in the morning hours. At that time, I didn't even know how to pray. I prayed for only two minutes. Mm. I, was no long, I was not like the, 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 the Pentecostal have been... Uh, the prayer warriors. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So two, just like two minutes. And, uh, and uh, 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 I decided uh, just to, to relax on my bed. Not sleeping, just mm. relax. Yeah. And then that's when the unusual happened. Uh, I started seeing uh, myself like I, uh, uh, there were two people in one person. I could see like one person was lying on the bed. Another one was being lifted, and uh, we looked the same. So I was scared. I was scared. I didn't know what was happening to me at that time. So I started to, I was like walking on on the road, and then I saw uh, heavens, clouds, and uh, they were bright, like heaven were like opening up, and then there were people who were coming from from heaven. Uh, uh, they were uh, descending. Um, uh, others had wings, and they were these were many who had wings. But what was like leading them, for him he didn't have wings, but, and he was even more glorious than this one we were following him. So he was coming towards where he was. So because I was scared, they kept running, running, but he reached out to me uh, while he was still suspended in, in, in space, and he told me, say, do not be afraid, you stand. Mm. Stand still that I may speak to you. So I stood still, and then he asked me a question. The first question he asked me, he said, uh, do you know Jesus Christ? And I said, uh, I, I just hear about him. And then he said, I am the one. I am the one who died and rose from the dead. So he showed me uh, his, uh, uh, his palms. Yeah, and there are, there are some uh, uh, those marks. Like oh, yes. nail marks. Uh -huh. okay. I said, I died on the cross and rose from the dead. And then, and then he said, Welcome to my kingdom. I, I didn't respond. And then he said, um, He asked me another question. He said, Have you ever read Matthew 24? And I said, No. Then he says, When, when, when you come back to your senses, Mm. Uh, you read Matthew 24 because it talks about the end, the signs of the end. And he said, you are living in the end times. But you, when you come back to your senses, you go and look for the Bible and read, read uh, Matthew 24. There are many signs that I predicted in Matthew 24. And then from there, he asked me uh, to open up my mouth. And when I opened my mouth, uh, he told me, whatever I give you, I want you to eat. Swallow it. So I opened my mouth, he put something, I didn't know what it was. Then I swallowed, I re what I remember, I started coughing, I was in that trance, I started coughing, coughing. Actually, when I came back to my senses, because after swallowing, I saw him going back, he ascended, with all these uh, other beings who had, who had uh, wings, mm -hmm. which I know now they are angels. Um, but when I came back to my, sense, my senses, I was still coughing in the real life, I was coughing, and uh, my, my relatives, my family members, were asking him what happened, uh, he went to sleep, you are fine, what's happening? But I couldn't tell them my encounter. I told them but, uh, it will uh, be well. We want to, want to, to fast and listen. Was that a dream or it was something real? Now, now, now uh, like I said, in the beginning I thought it was a dream. But what I call a trance is, because now I've grown up. Mm. Uh, a trance is, uh, you know, like the natural, the real you is suspended. You, you, you are like you are dead, like you are suspended. Your, your, your spirit moves out? Uh -huh, your spirit gets out. So that, that's a trust. Mm. So you, you, you also have that gift? Yes, it happens on several occasions. Sure. Yeah. You walk out of yourself. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. So, so, so that, that's what happened. But, but uh, they were saying, uh, my, 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 my sister, I remember, told me, maybe we go to the uh, pharmacy here, we go to the tablets. I told her, I don't. Because I, I knew, I knew that it was divine what okay. had happened to me. Mm. But uh, it, it started disappearing. So by the close of the day, I was, I was fine. I was fine. But something happened when I stopped, when the cough stopped, I started um, to feel uh, fire within my, my, my heart. I could feel like the fire burning. Mm. And this fire uh, would always come when I'm like looking at someone okay. and staring, staring at them for a long time. Mm. Then the fire could burn within my heart. And then what followed, it looked like I was understanding what was happening in their thoughts, like their minds. Mm. So it was because it was strange, I started living a life of what's happening to me. That is senior uh, too. Senior too. Okay. Yeah. Spiritually, you're not even strong. Not strong. That's why the, the only person who ran to now was my pastor. I ran to him. Okay. And explained to him what had happened. Mm. And I remember his response was, he told me, you know what? God calls people differently. Oh, yeah. He told me that, you know what? Now you've just spent two weeks and these, these things are happening to you. 
And he told me, for me, I've been a pastor for a long time. I've never encountered what you have, what, what you have encountered. Mm. But he told me, what you, what you need to do, be prayerful and remain in the word of God and be humble. Be humble. He said, because what God is giving you can easily cause pride in the days to come. Okay. But that's, that's how you live your life. So your pastor knew that you had a spiritual gift yes, yes. that was manifesting uh -huh, at that time. Uh -huh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what happens next after there? Um, after there, I started to, to, to learn how to pray. Okay. Uh, pray mm. and even make sure I attended the services to be taught the word of God. Uh, the other experience that, that came along, Mm. Um, after that, the, the, the other experiences. Okay, uh, uh, after the first encounter of you walking out of your own body, yes. as you claim, mm. did it happen several other times? Yes, there, there's another time when it happened. Uh, and uh, this, uh, this time uh, I'd grown up, I'd grown up in the things of God. Okay. Uh, I remember I was going through some, I would call it a challenge, I'd finished my Form 6. And uh, I didn't know I was going to progress mm. uh, because at that time both my parents had died, even my dad had, had passed. So I started grumbling to God, like God. So am I going to just stop in Form 6? I want to further my studies. And the person I'm staying with, she's promising, she will help me, but she says money. She's not seeing money. Mm. So I remember I used to have my own room. By that time I joined my sister, my big sister. Mm. So in that time of grumbling, um, uh, I became natural, like, like because I remember I said, Lord, I'm not, I'm not, even, I'm not even going to, to cover myself with a blanket. I'm, 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 I've served you, nothing is moving. Mm. And then what happened? I started feeling a certain presence, invisible, but it was a presence that came on me. And then uh, I became like, like to, to look like someone was tying me with ropes. Eh? Okay. Like you're being tied, and I couldn't move. Mm. I, you know, I've not slept, but <laughs> I couldn't even say anything. So, there I saw uh, 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 a man uh, came and stood in my room uh, in, in a corner and was bright, shining. And then he called my name and said, somebody said, Alpha, come here. And I asked him, I asked him how, how will I, because it was, how will it was, I was also that? up, oh, yeah. how would I reach you there? And then he told me, if you are willing, it is possible. I said, how? He said, you be willing, you will come. So now, what I remember, I kept looking at him, and then I saw now myself again, the spirit man coming out, because now I would see now the body, mm. the other alpha is stiff. Mm. And then when I joined where he was, in the corner, he told me, that's what they call death. Mm. When people die, their spirit leaves them. Then he tells me, but you are being someone to a place I'm going to take you to. So then he took me and, uh, you know, through the ceiling, we stood on top of the house, and then he showed me all people were in the house, <laughs> said, these, these, these are your relatives, this is your aunt. Uh, that, that house was in, in Kamocha. Okay. So we, 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 we toured around even the Kamocha market. He tells me, this is your market that you do shopping for on the weekends. You're up there? Yes. Okay. And then from there, he took me to cross the towers. Mm. He tells by that time, he told me, this is the tallest building in Kampala. And I mm. said, I've read about it. He said, now we're on top of it. He said, however, I'm going to take you where you are being summoned. Okay. So what happened at that time? It was like a rocket, actually faster than a rocket. Mm. We started moving fast, fast, at ter terrific speed, going through many clouds. And then he asked me to a place um, that was really calm, it was a very calm place. Mm. Um, you know, I could see like rivers of water. Um, but I didn't, I didn't see like angels there. But what happened, he asked me before his throne. There was someone who sat on the throne and it was very glorious, very bright. I couldn't look into his eyes, uh, even his belt. Uh, I couldn't look even uh, at his belt. It was very glorious. Uh, all I could do was look at his feet. Okay. Though it was, they were so glorious. So now the other angel disappears because I knew he was an angel. The spirit left him there was this being who was on the throne. Mm. And then when the being starts to speak, he called my name. But when he spoke, the sound was like uh, the sound of like many waters, running water. Oh. It was echoes. It was echoes. Okay. Yeah. And then he asked me a question like, Alpha, why are you grumbling? I couldn't answer. Then he says, grumbling is a sin. Mm. And he said, I've been with you ever since when you were young, even when you didn't know me. So he started playing like clips, clips of when I was a child. I mean, even the thing that I didn't even know. He said, you know, I've been watching over you, watching over you. So do you think the next step I'm going to fail? The, the, the best I could do, I broke down. 
and I cried for mercy because I was kneeling down. I said, have mercy upon me, O Lord. Have mercy. And then he said, peace, peace. And then the sound disappeared. Then the other being came back. Mm. I said, no, I'm going to take you back. Okay. Because he, that's what, the one who called you, I said, he has told you. Mm. And he took me back. We went to the same, you know, coming down, seeing Kampala City, up to Kamocha. I remember when we stood on, on, on top of the, the house now, uh, some of the members in the house had woken up. Those who are prepared to go to school, those who are going to, to, to work. Mm. So uh, the angel tells me, you know, now these are prepared to go to their normal duties. But I protected your room that no one could try to knock. Because if they were to knock or even to force themselves to break the door, they would declare you dead. Mm. Said by the presence of God, protected anyone not to come close to this room. room. So he made me to enter the room, but then he didn't tell me to go back. Mm. He just told me, you go back by yourself. Okay. So I asked him how. He says in the same way that you, you joined you me. Join, okay. You have to be willing, then you go back. What I remember, I went back backward, you know, and I started to lay on myself, two in one, mm. head to head, hand to hand, and then I came back. But when I came back to my sisters, I was afraid, I was afraid. <laughs> I got my Bible, I started praying, because I was scared. Well, I mean, people, people could be wondering already, is this even possible? <laughs> It's possible because it's biblical. For me, I believe in the Bible. Mm. Uh, there are many people in the Bible who got those experiences. One of them is Ezekiel, the prophet. And uh, uh, did Enoch get the same? Or Enoch went to Enoch was and alive, was okay. taken. The whole of him oh, was yeah, taken. Yeah. But in the Bible, there is Ezekiel. There are the book of Revelation, mm. yeah, the apostle. Yes. Mm. Also, he was being taken out of the body experience. The difference is, mm. it is the spirit of God himself who enables me to get out. I, I don't do it at will myself. Okay. They have always said that they do it at will. But for me, it is God himself. But how do you think people can believe the story you're telling? People uh, might <laughs> think you are, you, you, you're just here for entertainment and telling lies. Um, uh, those who read the Bible, mm. they will not have issues to... To believe to, this? Uh, no, to doubt it. Okay. Because if you read the Bible, if you believe it, okay. from Old Testament, New Testament. Mm. Because the people say that, you know, all those things okay, happen by their Old Testament. Mm. But New Testament, we have the, the book of Revelation. That man got those experiences. Okay. And uh, the Bible says that uh, 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 Malachi uh, 3, 6, it says, uh, Because I change not, you, the descendants of Jacob, are not consumed. Our God does not change. Okay. What he did in the Old Testament, he, he can, can still it. do. Yes. Mm. So those are the Bible. They will not have issues yeah. with the, what I'm trying to explain. In, in Luganda, it says, Katonda yomu, murubere belie, bichin, and tachuka. Tachuka, okay. Tachuka, na itachuka. Okay. Yes. So now, um, after that uh, experience, you started praying. That was still in secondary school. Yes. Senior six, you're looking for yes. money to go yes, to university. Yes, 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 Did yes. you get any miracle? Yes, something happened. God, God paved the way. How? And, uh, use the same, the same, my big sister still. <laughs> sure. Yeah, she, she, she called me. The one who had no money. The one had the money. After some, some few months, mm. she called me and told me now, you can go and look for a place. I've got the money. And uh, that was, it worked out. What did you study at university? Uh, uh, business administration. Okay. Well, why didn't you go in for theology since you could feel the spirit uh, in you burning? Um, you see, one thing I've learned about God is... Uh, you have to wait for his direction, you see. Okay. You don't just decide to mm. do things when he has not told you. It's like saying I'm full-time when he has not told me that you go, go, go be full-time. Okay. You have to wait for him, uh, what the direction. So, at that time, I was just behaving like any other person. You have also to plan for your life. Mm. Yes. And now, after studies, what did you do next? Um, I tried to, to, to look for, you know, jobs. By the time I remember, by the time I was a major in Entebbe, uh, based in Entebbe, ready for, ready for, looking for a job, but nothing was showing up. So that's when I was ready to join. Uh, by the spirit, there was a Bible college mm. in Entebbe. I joined, and uh, yeah, I was there for some time in the Bible college. Okay. Mm. You go, got a certificate, diploma? I got it. It was just certificate level. Okay, certificate mm. level. Mm. So. Usually when, when, when people find out that they're gifted like you, all they think about is to start up a church, mm. you become your own master, mm. you preach to the people, prophesy. Mm. 
do you have a church now? You have a church in, in Nakulavi. Mm. Uh, but see, like I said earlier, I don't encourage anyone who's watching us. Uh, it's one thing to get these gifts, but it's another thing to be in the perfect will of God. Okay. Because not whoever is gifted should start a church. You could be gifted when God is not calling you to start a church. Mm. Yeah, can that happen? It can happen. There are people that he calls, mm. and your calling is not church. Major like a, uh, for me, I started a church, mm. but uh, much of what I do is really to, to prophesy, to tell people what I'm seeing. Okay. Uh, personal, individually, but also like nation is. So they know me. I'm, so I'm amongst them, but they know what, I, what I'm carrying. So you, you have, um, do you have a pastor in that church? Yes, there's a pastor. So you are yeah. under a pastor? Uh, of course, they, you know, when you, when you plant something, they call it overseer. Yeah? Okay. But uh, of course, we are respective. We are respective. Mm. But you know, Pentecostal setting, when you start something, they see us there. Okay. But respective. Yeah, I, I, I want to understand something around there. Is it um, the pastor to head the prophet or the prophet to head the pastor? Uh, yeah, Ephesians chapter 4, verse 11, uh, those who read the Bible, uh, uh, it talks about five gifts Jesus gave to the body of Christ. And he gave apostles, uh, prophets, uh, pastors, teachers, and evangelists. Mm. Now, all these five, eh? all these five, because the Bible says he gave gifts to the church. To the the church, church. Yeah. So the one who is the church is the pastor. Okay. So when you, even if you visit a prophet, you have to, to be under the pastor. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen people who don't believe in pastors. I, I'll give you an example of Prophet Mbonyi. <laughs> For him, he's his own. He's I, the man. <laughs> I don't know where they get those beliefs, but... Um, the church was given to a pastor, the pastor anointing. Okay. Not the prophet. prophet. So what you're trying to mean, in the teachings, I can't be a pastor and at the same time a prophet? Um, it, it can happen uh, when you have a, a, a certain grace, another grace, but there's always, there's always one gift that stands out, that you are known out there. Okay. Now, if, if you're called by a prophet in the office, it means that's what they will know you most out there. Mm. If you have another extra gift, maybe be teaching, it will be known but not on the level of the prophet. Okay. Yeah. So, um, how did you um, start the church? Uh, we started with fellowships. In a fellowship, a fellowship is not a church. Fellowship is, is when a like gathering. weekly, weekly, weekly yeah, gathering. No, not Sunday. Yeah, prayer so, gatherings. Uh -huh. yes. So we started with fellowship, but it's still the Lord who led me mm. into starting fellowships. Because fellowship, you gather many people from different churches, okay. and then you, you'll be a blessing to them. Mm. But a church is when you have your own, your real members who belong to that very church. So we began with a fellowship. And actually today, even the fellowship is still going on, it's also the church is moving on. Okay. Mm. Back to being a prophet. You know, Ugandans uh, love prophecy. Yes. Yeah. Mm. So they, they, they might be already questioning, um, mm. what can he tell us? <laughs> what can he predict? How how is next year going to be? Uh, <laughs> what what have you seen so far? Uh, 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 before I go to that, um, I've experienced you know personal prophecy. Personal mm. prophecy when, when when I'm telling you, I'm I'm speaking to you as in the video, mm. uh, what, what I see about your life that God is showing me. But when I first began to to experience the uh, the power of personal prophecy. It started with my late mom. Okay. Um, in 1998. Uh, mm. uh, I loved her a lot because I grew up with, um, most of the time, I didn't grow up with my dad. Mm. My mom was a Musoga, so we grew up in Musoga. Okay. She was everything to us. Mm. So I remember one of those encounters that I told you I always, I used to get many of those encounters. Okay. This encounter was, um, this one looked a dream, it was not out of great experience, it was a dream. But I remember I saw, this the man, there's a man I'd already seen in '96. Okay. He was walking on the cloud and uh, very glorious. Then he then he stood, then he spoke. His voice was very loud and clear. He said, The person that you treasure a lot is going to pass, will die very soon. I said, But the Lord God shall sustain you, shall educate you. So now when I came out of this dream, I, I just knew that the person that I treasure was my man. So I felt bad. And she was not even sick. She was mm -hmm. not sick. I felt bad. I was very Disapp the whole day. Dis disappointed yeah. with God. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they asked me, what's happening? Today you don't look... You, you, you don't have vibe. <laughs> uh, but I, I came quiet. I tried to pray. Okay. Lord, can't you change this? 
But after two months, when she, she fell sick, and we thought it was something small. She went to a certain uh, health center, they decided to, to retain her. And before you know it, uh, less than two weeks she died. I, it, was, it was hard for me. Were, were you surprised when she died? Uh, because that's, my, that's what I was, trying, I was trying now to start knowing the personal prophecy. How it was that God can speak to an individual and happiness. Okay. So I, I saw that God does not, God does not lie, but it, of course, it, was, it was painful. This was my mom. Uh, and she had with my younger brothers about the, the dream, but I told them, don't tell me, don't tell them, don't tell my mom, don't. Mm. So when it happened, my young brother thought that maybe I can raise her from the dead. <laughs> they said, so, but God, you mean God didn't show you that maybe she will raise her from the dead? I said, no, mm. no, nothing. So that, 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 that's why I said, like, understanding how personal prophecy operates. Okay. That you can get a vision revelation about an individual, mm. and um, it can happen. Now, of course, that was negative. But um, uh, concerning the nation, okay. the nation is, as you are asking me, I have my official website. Mm. Uh, www.prophetalpha.org. Okay. There are many prophecies there, very, very prophecies uh, of things that have happened, that are pending. Mm. And now, to our viewers eh, who are skeptical and they are saying, No, it can't happen, mm. it can't be true, I can advise them to just visit the website www.prophetalpha.org because there are many that are pending. Okay, because when you, when you visit us, the website, you will. You ignore the ones that they have said they have happened, mm. and you start now to follow the, the one they are saying they are pending. Okay. And see. Okay. Mm. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, as we break off, uh, let us just go through this website. Look at uh, the prophecies um, and how they have been uh, happening. Did they come to pass or they are just still pending? We'll be back in a few minutes. Abadda teka teko kwa njule mba gobo mkoro mlara gwona. Soko ulirizebi no. Ngo mkoro gote guna foka gwa muzizo. Gaba gabo be mle makuna katanse so kutalimi nyonyonto. Echibina chitoki ya group chintu mienku bire konti. Bebo kaba yinzo kurunga mio mkoro guo. Gwe wama no gwe ya garira konge chijori echisima tusoruka. Batoki ya group bazeno bukugumu kuomi orulimi oruganda no orungereza. Ngaburi kanyomero kumukoro baka fu ura chitonto gumbia kubanga buba kwa tabu somo kurambika tebaba vako nga temuna tiabula gamu kada sanze nuni yoru sukumuru entemera bakubile koku noti musamvu noti bili nsamvu munya noti musamvu atano munya obaku noti musamvu noti tano noti tano noti nyabili munya obaku noti satu muenda bili noti 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 emuabili muemu we wale kachari okukune nukirango wa mutu umaguse gulire entari I see a plane crashing and killing a president of an African country. I saw in my dreams wrong people who had entered the country and causing unrest in the country through attacks. Water will become disgusting. Then what, happened, what work next will be the price of water will rise. Is the equivalent of national water? They will start to hike prices. But that's not good. But you know, it is coming because of a country failing to plan for it, the, the population. In the politics, the shift will happen in the political parties, especially the NRM. It will intensify even this year. It will cause something that will look like a split in the political parties, even in Inup. I see some, some people from the north rising and forming a group like a political party. Guru shall begin to raise and shall become an industrial city. I'm never going to Guru. It shall also be a year of retiring of some people from their big positions. The stampede of the people who end up being uh, affected by the journalists. The stampede. Actually, some journalists died. The stampede. I don't know what was really happening, but it was big. Then the journalists had gone to the, to the, to the report, report. 